Today we're going to talk about how to transfer 2D elements as well as views, sheets and view templates from one project to the other. Hi everyone, I'm Berti with BIM Lounge, it's good to see you. Stay tuned for our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, in my previous video I went over how to transfer 3D items from one project to the other and make sure you watch that as well. Now in this video we'll go over views, view templates and sheets. Let's get into it. Now let's start from 2D items. Those are typically components and you can easily copy and paste from one project to the other or you can edit the family and load it to the new project. I'm trying to think if there are any 2D items that are system families that you would want to copy from one project to the other. Let me know in the comments if you can think of any. Now I hope that copying 2D items is self-explanatory and I don't have to show it for each one of them, right? Okay. Now let's get into the interesting part and let's start with views. Right now I have a schedule in front of me and I like to copy it into several other projects. Now let me show you. I would have to go for example to these two schedules because I can do it for multiple schedules at a time and control C for copy and then you can uh, head over to the other projects and uh, simply you can click in the workspace and then control V. And then as you can see, the schedules are populating here where there were any schedules here. There weren't any schedules here and now I have those two schedules. Now the one thing to keep in mind is that what gets copied is the view itself, so the schedule, and their settings. So in this case, it is populating because I also have these items placed. These total accessories are placed in the project. But for example, if I go to another project that doesn't have those same elements and I try to paste. Of course, as I mentioned, I do get the schedules right here, but they're not populating. But the nice thing is that now as you place items that have those parameters are going to populate with those settings. Next, let's take a look at drafting views. I have several drafting views here and I can go ahead and uh, right click and copy the clipboard or control C. And then I can head over to the new file. And then you can just click in the working space, hit paste. And then this file did not have these drafting views. And now if you go to the views, you'll see that we have all these new views and this is one of them. Now, since these views are still in the clipboard, I can head over to a third file that's already open here and I can do the same thing, Control V to paste them. And now the drafting views are also showing in this file. So as you can see, it's very easy to bulk copy drafting views from one file to another. Let's look at legends now. Revit does not allow you to copy legends to clipboard. In fact, copy the clipboard is grayed out and Control C, Control V does not work. But in this case, uh, we can use uh, PyRevit for this. So let's go ahead and uh, select even several just to prove that we can uh, copy more than one. So let's go ahead and select those and PyRevit. There's a legends command and copy legends to other documents. So let's go ahead and select that one. And now we select the destination. What's nice is that you can select multiple files as a destination. And you can check OK. And see, it sees that we selected five legends. And yes, we want to proceed with all of them. Otherwise, you would be prompted to select them in a following menu. But right now, we already have them selected. And as you can see, they're getting copied. This is the log. Let's go ahead and close that. And now if we switch to the second file, you'll see that now we have all these legends. And so goes for the third file, legends. Now the question is, can you transfer whole sheets with views on them from one file to the other? And the answer is yes, unless you have views that contain 3D model items. For example, right now I created this view with a schedule, a legend, and three drafting views. So I wanna see if that'll work. So let's head over to that sheet. We can go ahead and select it, and then we'll use a PyRabbit for this as well. So if you find the sheets, You'll see that there's a copy sheets to open documents and let's select the uh, two files uh, you know the destination files let's hit okay 
And now it's asking if we want to copy the sheet that's selected. Yes, and we can actually copy more than one. Let's go ahead and copy that one. And now it's wanting to know what views, if any, need to be transferred. So let's go ahead and select all that. And then as you can see, it's copying the title block, the schedules, and all the other views. Let's check it out. And as you can see now, we have this uh, new sheet with all the views and a title block based on the original one. And the same applies to the third file. As you can see, there we have it. Now this is interesting because this confirms what I was saying. The um, schedule has been copied, in this case updated because we previously copied it manually. But of course, the content here is not the same in terms of uh, models that are placed. So right now we only have the schedule as a view without all the items populating the schedule itself. Now what about view templates? Well, transferring view templates from one project to the other can be very useful. And uh, you can uh, do that with the transfer project standards. But the problem with that is that Revit doesn't let you pick individual view templates and uh, it only lets you transfer all of them from one file to the other. Uh, to get around that, what we'll do is use PyRevit again. So in this case, I have this um, view with this view template active. I'll head over to PyRevit views and look for copy view templates to open documents. Let's select that. And of course, we'll select this one because we're interested in this one, but otherwise you can select multiple and then select. And then of course the destination file or files in this case. And as you can see, now they've been copied. Now let me know if you have any questions and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.